this year. He's kept us this far. It's been nobody but God who has kept us, and we're grateful.
Hallelujah. 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 He's such a good God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank him for being good. He don't have to be good. But I thank him for being good to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And while he's seeing about me, he's seeing about you at the same time. What kind of God do we serve? Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. something God is doing for you in this time and season and you can stand right at your seat just two volunteers to share their testimony
Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give God praise for what he's doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. And at this time, we're going to prepare for the word of God coming from Minister Green. I ask that you would stand all over the building as he comes. My soul. glory we give you honor God and we thank you for your presence being in this place today God we pray that you continue to have your way oh God have your way in this place oh God have your way in this place oh God have your way in this place oh God we come to have an experience with you this morning oh God we come to experience your power your might and your love oh God touch us this morning oh God we need a touch from you oh God we need a refreshing from you, O oh God. Refresh us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen your people, O oh God. Strengthen your people, O oh God. Touch the mind right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, we cast out any doubt, any worry, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let the peace of God rule in the mind right now, O oh God. Hallelujah. We give you glory today, O oh God because you're worthy of it oh god you've been mighty good to us oh god and we just want to tell you thank you this morning god thank you how you've been keeping us oh god thank you how you've been touching our bodies oh god how you've been keeping our loved ones oh god how you've been keeping us with a sound mind oh god we enter into this house today with thanksgiving on our lips oh god giving you praise and glory oh god because you're worthy of it oh god we acknowledge you, O oh God, for being our Lord of Lords, our King of Kings. You are our Savior. You are our Master. And we acknowledge you, O oh God. We put you in your rightful place, O oh God. You are number one, O oh God. You are the only one, O oh God. And we give you praise, O oh God. We give you glory, O oh God. And God, now we, we go into the Word of God. Be with me as I preach your word, God. Oh, God, let it be more of you and less of me. Oh, God, let me say only what you want me to say and how you want me to say it. Let the word go forth with clarity and conviction. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and praise God. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, come on and give God a praise in this place. Hallelujah. 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 
Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. It is a blessing to be in the house of God. Amen. And I'm like you. I'm like, I feel, amen, like it's a good day for us to give God glory and give God praise. Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a good God. And if he good like we say he good, we ought to act like it. We ought to praise him like he's a good God. We ought to worship him like he's a good God. Hallelujah. Because he's worthy of our praise whether we give it to him or not. And I'm here to tell you something. If we don't give it to him, he's still going to get it. Hallelujah. So I might as well do my part and give him the praise that he deserves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is good. Hallelujah. And we deserve it. He deserves the praise that we can offer him. Amen. And it's a blessing to be in the house of God. We thank God for our pastor and first lady. Amen. All of you, the saints of God. Amen. And it is a blessing to be in the house of God. Amen. Might be a little different, but we're still in the house of God. Amen. Might have to add a little uh, extra accessory to our outer wear, but we still can give God praise. We still can give God glory. Hallelujah. And we thank God for being here. Thank God for my own wife, to the missionary, deacon, brothers, to all the saints of God. There is a word from the Lord. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. And I won't be before you long because the presence of God is in this place. Amen. And if you do have a praise in your heart and the inside, then you have the opportunity today to get it out. Give God the praise that he deserves. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. And just for a brief moment, we're going to preach from the thought, Jesus Christ, the same. Jesus Christ the same. And then when you read this verse, this verse seems like it may be a little bit out of place. It appears to stand all by itself, but that's not the case. In fact, this verse is the, really the summary of this whole book. It's a time where now it's a time where it's easier for us to reach for negative thoughts because that's all we see. It's easier to think negative because that's all we hear. But in spite of all the negative things that's been going on in this year, in spite of all of the bad stuff that's happening, God, Jesus Christ is still the same. He's been faithful to us on this year. Amen. We can look back over our life and see how good God has been. But if you just take a look on this year and you can see how faithful God has been to us. And this verse reminds us and tells us that not only was he faithful yesterday and not only is he faithful today, but he's still going to be faithful tomorrow. He's going to be faithful forever because this verse reminds us that Jesus Christ cannot change. He will not change and he will never change. And this means that he's just as powerful today as he was when he walked the face of this earth. He's still as loving. He's still as merciful. He's still a holy God. And this verse reminds us uh, that none of that will ever change. What we have to remember is that God is still in control. And that's what that verse tells us. Now, it's so easy for us uh, to go to God with everything we want uh, and everything we need. And we forget that God is able to supply that same need. Uh, we're so caught up in the circumstance, in the situation, where we're forgetting that we're praying to the God uh, that controls the situation. Uh, so when you go to God, don't pray to God uh, just because you need him to help out your situation but go to God and pray to him because you know that he's in control of the situation and that don't change it may seem like the doctors are pronouncing this it may seem like your family has this and that to say but you have to remember that Jesus Christ is the same and he still runs your family members he's still in control of the doctors he's still in control of the schools he's still in control why because Jesus Jesus Christ never changes. It's important for us to remember that God doesn't change because a God that changes is an imperfect God. And we serve a perfect God. A God that's perfect in all of his ways. He never made a mistake. He never ran up on a demon that he couldn't cast out. He never ran up on nobody with a disease that he couldn't heal. He didn't run up on nobody who was laid up who couldn't raise him back up. Can I preach to y'all up in here? He never ran up on a dead body that he couldn't 
couldn't put life back into. Can I preach to you up in here? And so since he can bring the dead back to life, since he can heal the sick, and since he can cast out devils, I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ is still the same. So when I walk upon the devil, Jesus Christ still can cast him out. Can I preach up in here? If my family or I need a healing from God, then he still has the power. It's just up to me to believe that Jesus Christ is still the same. Say yes to God. And since Jesus Christ is the same, that means he'll never change. And that means his power won't change. In Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18, the Bible says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying that all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And this verse tells us that Jesus had been given power. So just what does this mean? You notice Jesus said that this power had been given unto him. So that means that God gave Jesus this authority and the power. And ain't nobody got the power to take it away from him. And can't nothing change that. Can I preach to you up in here today? We got to change our mentality. Because if God gave Jesus that power, then I'm here to let you know the same power that Jesus has now is still dwelling on the inside of me. Say yes to God. So I have the power and the authority. Say yes to God. And if Jesus can't change, that means the power that's within me, it can't change. That Holy Ghost power that I'm supposed to be walking in, then it can't change. The Holy Ghost power that's supposed to be leading and guiding me, that don't supposed to change. And since it don't change, that means I can walk in authority. I can walk in confidence and knowing that the God I serve, he still has the power and is still able to do just what he said he'll do. Say yes to God. So we have to remember that he has the power and his power will not change. And we are saints of God. And that means we read and study the word of God. And when we read this word, we know that we have promises that he promised us in the word of God. And when I said that, a lot of promises in the word begin to go through your mind. Because you know what he said in the word of God. And considering all of those promises, Romans 4 and 21 says, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able to perform and in this verse the word promised is talking about something that already been done it's talking like something that's already been completed and then he's talking as well as something that don't need to be to be done no more so when God makes a promise you can take that promise to the bank say yes to God and when he said it in the word when he makes a promise he don't have to repeat himself because he meant when he said when he said it and when he said it he knew he had the power to back up just what he said say yes to God so it ain't no slack on God but it's got to be found in us because we wait to see everything before we give God praise but we got to be reactive yes God I mean we got to be proactive instead of reactive say yes Yes to God. We got to praise God before we see our family healed. We got to praise God before we see our family saved and delivered and set free. We got to praise God before he touched the mind. Praise God before he removed the plague. Say yes to God. So we got to find ourselves when we get it together. Not just bringing God a bunch of complaints, a bunch of worry, a bunch of pity a bunch of stress and we need to bring God some praise and some worship say yes to God 
Yes, Lord. If you look at how you spent your time over this whole pandemic, have you been doing a lot of complaining to God? Have you been casting all of your worries on him? All of your thoughts on him? All of your stress on him? Say yes to God. But this is the time where we should be praising God. Say yes to God. We don't cast worry on him. Say yes to God. Just because the fire is hot. Yes, Lord. We cast that care on him. Yes, God. And then we praise him because he know we can work it out. Say yes to God. And since Jesus don't change, that means my attitude towards him. It shouldn't change. He still should be good. Even though I'm going through, he's still good. Even though my body may be aching, he's still good. Say yes to God. I can't get caught up on a situation that can be changed by an almighty God. Say yes to God. I'm the reason why I'm in the spot I'm in. Because I'm acknowledging what I'm going through. Instead of looking to the hills, which come in my help, says all of my help, it comes from the Lord. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And during this pandemic, you may have been stressing about your family. You want your loved ones to be saved. You want your school to be saved. Your community to be saved. But he also promised in the word of God. In Romans 10 and 13, he said, for whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved he didn't say they might be saved he didn't say it's a chance they may be saved but if they get in the mind to call on the name of the Lord then he said they shall they shall be saved and that's a promise that'll never change say yes to God so you gotta get in your mind that the devil ain't got them they just need to call on the name of the Lord. Say yes to God. So now that we know what to pray for, Lord, put it in the mind that they call on the name of the Lord. So when they call on that name, they share. Yes, Lord, they shall be saved. And since Jesus is still the same, then that word, it still works. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. God still the same. Jesus Christ is still the same. And since the word is still the same, he also promised uh, to supply us. Uh, in Philippians 4 and 19, it says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Uh, so that lets me know that y'all don't have to worry about going without. Uh, we don't have to worry about lacking during this season uh, because God will take care of you. Uh, he might not give you everything you want, uh, but he promised that he was going to take care of your needs. Uh, say yes to God. And then the psalmist remember what the psalmist said I've been young and now I'm old yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Oh I tell you right now I actually just take a look back over your life and take a look back over this year and we can truly say that Jesus never let us down. Say yes to God. So don't get discouraged now. Just because you're running into another obstacle just because you're running into another situation because God had already proven to us that he will supply us with all of our need say yes to God and he's promised to satisfy us during this hour remember when the Jesus met the woman at the well in John chapter 4 he promised her a drink of living water that will last her forever he also promised to satisfy the hungry soul in Psalms 107 and 9 it says for he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with goodness so why does it seem 
that most saints are not satisfied now. Why does it seem like everybody is always looking for something else? I tell you why, because most people think that they gotta have stuff to satisfy them. Say yes to God, and they never learn to be happy with Jesus and what he can do for us. Say yes to God. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and 7 and 8, the scripture said, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Say yes to God. It would do us all good if we remember that Jesus is all that we need and he will keep us satisfied. Say yes to God. And not only will he satisfy us, but I'm here to let you know that all of us got the testimony to know that he'll keep us if you want to be kept. Say yes to God. God didn't save you just to leave you stranded. God didn't save you just to let 2020 take you out. Say yes to God. He didn't save you just to abandon you. Say yes to God. And since he promised to keep us, that means that he will sustain us. Say yes to God. So no matter what we're called on to face in this life, we can face it with the assurance that Jesus will always be there. Oh yes, God. And the scripture tells us, Lo, I'm with you. Always. Even until the end of the world. Say yes to God. So he's with you. He's with you to lead you. Say yes to God. He's with you to pick you up. Say yes to God. He's with you to encourage you. Say yes to God. He's with you to give you strength. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. And since I know that Jesus is with me, that means that I can make it. Say yes to God. I may feel like giving up, but when I'm weak, that's when he's strong. Say yes to God. And when he gets strong, I feel I can run on and see what the end's going to be. Say yes to God. The world around us is always changing. And even in this year, the word that we've been hearing is time of uncertainty. But the one thing that I'm certain of is that Jesus Christ is still the same. Say yes to God. And since Jesus is still the same, yes, God. Psalm 34. Verse 1, the Bible says, I bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And since Jesus don't change, my praise shouldn't change. I should be a fair weather saint because Jesus is still the same. I may have to shed some tears, but my praise should still be the same. May have a cough here and there, but my praise to still be the same when the enemy attacks my body my praise shouldn't change why because God is still the same say yes to God yes Lord so we're here today the scripture tells us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forevermore so what that tells us we got to remember that he won't change. He got tomorrow in his hand. He got today under control. Say yes to God. So I don't have to worry about what's coming next. I don't have to worry about what's in hand of me. Why? Because God is got it under control say yes to God so since I know that it's under control I don't have to stress about my prayer being answered yes set it up on side I don't have to worry about how to figure this out oh yes God but all I gotta do is believe God and seal it with a praise 
Yes, God. I got to believe God and seal it with a praise. Yes, God. I get on my knees. I may be way down. Say yes to God. But when I cast those cares on him, when I get up, I'm going to walk like I believe. I'm going to talk like I believe. I'm going to praise him like I believe. Say yes. Yes to God. Yes, God. And since I know that Jesus Christ is the same, that means that the devil, he don't run nothing. Say yes to God. No matter what the doctor said, they don't run nothing. Say yes to God. No matter what the school talking about, they don't run nothing. Say yes to God. But I'm acknowledging to Jesus because he got the final say so because he said that all power yes Lord that means he's the school superintendent he's the bishop he's the doctor say yes to God he's the home lender say yes to God Yes, God. He's the police officer. He the police chief. Say yes to God. He is the mayor. He's the governor. Say yes to God. He's the superintendent. Say yes to God. Yes, Lord. He's the secretary of state. Yes, Lord. He's the teachers. Yes, Lord. He's the principal. Yes, Lord. He's the pastor, missionary, minister, deacon, pew member. He's everything because he got all power. And if you believe he got all power, stand up on your feet and give God the best praise you can give him right now. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. 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 